Andrew. Yeah, that's me. We're, we're coming to you. And I thought of this segue as like any night out on the town with Andrew, this next thing is not for the kids. <laughs> not for the kids at all. Not for the kids. Peacemaker. Well, Patrick, uh, thank you for those kind words. I don't know what kind of man you think I am, but I like to do family fun things once in a blue moon, maybe once a year, but he's right. The Peacemaker is not for kids, but you know what? Let's take a look. You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon on the humankind. I'm giving you the chance to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people bad people. I have to tell you, I went into this show not having any expectations. However, it is now one of my new favorite shows. It is dark. It is raunchy. It is funny. It's got all of these things mixed into one made by the mind of James Gunn. Of course, James is the guy behind Guardians of the Galaxy. He's also the mind behind the Suicide Squad, which premiered last year on uh, HBO Max as well. So basically, Peacemaker follows John Cena's character from the film Suicide Squad into this series. Now, Peacemaker is a man who will kill anyone in order to get peace. Men, women, children. He doesn't care. He kills for peace, which I know is ironic. But when you watch this show, you really kind of see, you know, these kind of outcasts come together and they're coming to fight a common good. Now, I don't want to give too much away. But there, there's some enemies that this group of black ops individuals are going to fight. But you're also going to see a John Cena like you've never seen. Because everyone thinks of Cena, he's pretty, a pretty serious guy. And Jeremy, I'm sure, has interviewed him before, too. But you're going to see a John Cena singing, dancing to choreographed dance numbers. You're going to see John Cena is in his underwear. You're going to see John Cena naked. And you're going to see John Cena with a pet bald eagle named Eagly. <laughs> which is, I know it sounds like I'm on an acid trip. And in fact, when I spoke to James Gunn, I said, how high were you when you wrote this? Uh, he wasn't high, apparently. Apparently, this is just inside his crazy mind. But it is such a blast. And the entire cast is amazing. Uh, Danielle Brooks is also is one of the characters. She was on Orange is the New Black. Really incredible scenes between her and Cena. Uh, there's also some cameos from some people from the Suicide Squad, but I don't want to give too much away. Uh, it's just a really fun show and the writing is so witty and so kind of dark and sarcastic, kind of like, I know you guys like that kind of writing. Um, and it, it's a total blast. It's a total fun ride. You reminded me as you described that I remember seeing a little bit of that same John Cena in Blockers. Uh, yes, and, yes. And, and, although he wasn't necessarily, he was reacting to a lot of it more than he was like actually being the, you know, the, the guy delivering the, the line or whatever. But um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see him in that role. I think he plays that really well because he's, it's sort of counter type and it's unexpected. Totally. And I asked, so I asked James Gunn, I was like, you know, Cena's always so serious. How do you get him to do all this stuff? Because Jeremy, he's literally dancing around in his tidy whities like singing and dancing. And James Gunn was just basically like, Cena trusts me. He knows that I'm never going to make him look bad. And what we're doing is kind of for the greater good. And another character in there that's also amazing is Robert Patrick. Robert Patrick, of course, the villain from Terminator, but he plays Cena's incredibly racist father. Like this dude is the worst dude you have ever met. Probably one of the worst characters James Gunn has ever written, but his scenes are so palpable. Uh, I, I just can't say enough good things about this show. Are, are you laughing through it or is it like you walk away like, oh my gosh, I'm depressed? <laughs> no, you're, you're, la you're laughing. You're, okay. I, I mean, you're laughing through it because some of the lines are, they're just wild. And they also bring in like current pop culture references, you know, like how James Gunn has done with Guardians. It's a very like quick, yeah, quick smart, yeah. um, like I think there's eight episodes or 10 episodes. I'm not sure. I'm only, I'm only like six in and I'm like, uh, I, 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 I just keep watching more. Oh, also, okay, one more thing. <laughs> there is an amazing intro. So before every episode, you know how you normally like skip the intro, you know? You're not gonna wanna skip this intro because it is a huge choreographed dance number with everyone in the cast dancing to an 80s like heavy metal band song, including John Cena doing like all of, it's, yeah, it's Don't wild. The show's the wild. Don't so wild. skip so, the intro. Don't skip the intro. Also, there's end credits 
after every episode. So after you're done watching the credits, there's another little chunk. So keep watching. Smart. Smart. Very smart.